Okay, let's look at analyzing a histogram um, where we have each bar representing a range of values. So first of all is to figure out what range we have going on here. And, and if we look, we have 58, then 64, then 70, then 76, 82, 88. So if you notice, they're spaced apart by six, but in between each, there's two bars. So in between 70 and 76, we have two separate bars. Uh, so that means there's also a number there, which would be halfway in between or 73. So really each, each bar represents a range of three here. Now the next thing to realize is that inside that bar, so this is between 70 and say 73, if we go over here, we have three states, uh, three states there with one time uh, graduation rates that were in between 70 and 73. But what we don't know is where they fall. It, it could be that one was around 70, one was around 71, and one was around 72. In other words, it could be that they were spaced out. It could also be that all three of them were just right over the border here and are sitting really close to 70%. Or it could be all three are right at crunched up here near 73. So the bar, um, one disadvantage is that we can't see the individual data points inside that bar and, and where they're located. So when we say between 65 and 75%, well, 65 would be over here somewhere in this gap. 75 would put us somewhere here in this bar. Um, so in terms of how many states are in between there, well, these two bars are definitely, no matter what, because they're the entire portion of the bar is in between 65 and 75. So it looks like we have three states in this bar and three states in this bar. So six states definitely have graduation rates uh, in between these two numbers here. But now we also want to want to think about this bar. Uh, because it says, what's the minimum possible number of states? So it could be that these four states inside this bar are in between 73 and 75. In that case, they would be included in that range. But it could also be that those four states are, say, 75.9% or something, that they're um, above 75%, that they're they're outside of this, this little box here between 65 and 75. Since we don't know where these four states actually fall in here, there's where we have to go up and see what the question's asking. It says the minimum possible. Well, the minimum possible would be that all four of those states could be above that 75 line. They could all be crowded here to the right side. And so maybe none of them are in our range. And if that's the case, uh, when we're talking the minimum possible, it would just be these six states. Because, of course, there's no states here, no matter what. Uh, so we'd have these six states, and we wouldn't have any there. If they had said maximum, well, then it could be that all four of those were crowded uh, between 73 and 75. And in that case, we'd have 3 plus 3 plus 4, 10. The minimum possible is 6. The maximum possible here would be 10.